Hello everyone. Today we choose a new topic that is the GSM. That is the global system for mobile communication. The GSM, the words given, the global system for mobile communication. It is an standard developed by the European Telecommunication Standards for the describing the protocols for second generations for digital cellular networks used by the in mobile devices such as mobile phones, tablets and it was firstly invented in Finland in 1991 and it could become a global standard for mobile communication achieving over 90 per percent in that period takes the markets and the 2G network developed as a replacement for first generation analog cellular network and the GSM standard originally described the digital circuit switch network for the full duplex voice telephony and this is the basic information about the GSM this is the generations GSM generations the first generation works on AMPS the second generation already we seen that is the uh, works on the GSM for the voice and messages purpose. In second generation GSM the data rate is uh, almost 9.6 kbps and after second generation some development is developed in GSM that is the high speed circuit C data and increase the speed data rate speed that is the 76.8 kbps means almost uh, 8 times larger as per the second generation also we use here GPRS that is the general packet radio services it also increase the data rate speed it is almost uh, 1152 kbps and that is the GPRS it is the general packet radio services it is packet based wireless communication service that promises data rates from 56 up to 114 kbps and continuous communication to the internet for mobile phone and computer user after that age announced there is a data rate for a GSM emission that is the you check the hierarchy in the rates data rate will be increased and now next one the GSM generation that is the 3G generation that is WCDN, wideband CDN the data, data rate almost goes to the 2 Mbps and this is the generation related to the GSMs you see the one video will clear the basic concept of what is the GSM and all that things we all know that there are two types of systems available as GSM and CDMA we will only study the basics of GSM system. GSM stands for Global System for Mobile. GSM is nothing but a big system made up of few small systems such as Mobile Stations, MS, Base Station Subsystem, BSS, Network and Switching Subsystem, NSS, Operating Subsystems, OSS. The architecture of this GSM network is as shown. Mobile station MS 
MS is nothing but the device used for communication, such as cell phone, fax machine, etc. Base Station Subsystem BSS BSS gets connected to MS via radio interface. It has two different blocks as BTS Base Transceiver System and BSC Base Station Controller. Practically, every MS gets connected to BTS of that area. This BTS sends the signal to BSC. Many BTS are connected to one BSC and at the end of this BSC is connected to MSC. Hence, BSS system consists of BTS and BSC. Network and Switching Subsystem NSS. This system mainly contains MSC. MSC is the backbone of the entire network. It controls all the operations from setting up a call till the handoff procedure. Other blocks of NSS are HLR Home Location Register which keeps the database of all the users who reside in the same geographical area. VLR Visitor Location Register keeps the track of all the users who are visitors for that particular geographical area, mainly roaming customers. AUC Authentication Center mainly controls the authentication of the users by checking their SIM numbers etc and sends the required information to the MSC. This is the basic video of GSA. The evaluation chart. Now we are using some 4G broadband, a service type and years. After 2010 onwards, we are trying using the 4G broadband. First one we starting from the AMPS. After that, digital 95 standards GSM. This is the some data rates: 24 kbps, 64. Increased directly 2 mbps by the using of IMT, that is the wideband 3G. And after 2 mbps, we increase data rate up to the 20 mbps. This is the evaluation chart yearly. Now, 4 onwards, we are some current scenario. The future will be goes to the 5G, 6G. This is some basic general architecture of GSM. It is provide a simple and effective architecture to services needed for a 2G cellular or mobile communication system. In 2G GSM network architecture gives an excellent information and capabilities required to set up a mobile communication. In network and switching subsystem, here is the network and switching subsystem already we see in the video. And this is the BSS that is the base station subsystem and here is the mobile station sub means it will be divided in three parts that is the mobile station, base station and network subsystem and another one is the OSS that is operation and support subsystem there are different elements of the GSM it is a network updated together The NSS it contains a variety of different elements and is open termed. There is core network, it is essential data network within various entities. That is the MSC Mobile Service Switching Center. This one. This is the main element with the core network area of the overall GSM network architecture. The MSC acts like a normal switching node within a PSTN and ISDN but also provided additional functionality to enable the requirements of mobile user to be supported. These include registration, authentication, call location, handovers, call routing, mobile subscriber all will be 
uh, that activities will be conducting here then we routed from the mobile network to phone connected and landline interfaces in network subsystem the another one part that is the HLR that is the home location register this contains all the administrative information about each subscriber it will be stored the information along with their last known location in this way JSM network is able to route calls to the relevant base station for the MS the user switches on their phone the phone register with the network it is possible to determine the BTS and it is the registered periodically to ensure the network that is the HLR is aware of its latest position this is related to next one VLR it is the visitor location register that is also comes under the network subsystem this contains selected information from the HLR then the selected information will be taken from the HLR will be stored in VLR and that enables the selected service for the individual subscriber to the and it is next uh, information given to the users the VLR can be implemented as a separate entity but it is commonly real, realized as an integral part of the MSC it is a administration rather than separate entity next one here is the EIR that is equipment identity register this is the entity decides whether a given mobile equipment may be allowed on to the network each mobile equipment has a number known as the international mobile equipment identity that is the IMEI number this number as mentioned uh, is installed in the equipment and it is checked by the network during the registration all of you know the IMEI number already given in the mobile phone and that will be works will be dependent on EIR that is the equipment identity register and it will be allocated one of three states allowed onto the network next one AVC that is the authentication center the authentication center is a protected database it will be protects all the database that contains the secret keys also some contain the user sim card that is the sim identity and it is used for authentication for the some signals this is a comes under the some network subsystem after that some gateways mobile switching center that is the GMC SMG, SMG that is the SMS gateway that all the entities will be comes after the master station and before the network subsystem there was a base station the BTS base trans receiver station the BTS it is used in GSM network some compares the radio transmitter receivers and with associated antennas and that transmit the and receive to directly communicate with mobiles it will works with receive and transmit BTS is the defining element for each cell already seen the some cells and every cell is the control unit and different station LV guns this is the all about BTS that BTS will be connected with BSC that is the base station controller this is the controlling part before the MSC the BSC forms the next stage back into the GSM it controls the group of BTS it controls the group of BTS 
it manages the radio resources and control hand over the group of BTS signals channels it communicate with BTS the base station subsystem element of GSM network utilizes some radio access technology next one the mobile station otherwise we are calling ME that is the mobile equipment they are mostly widely known mobile phones or the section of GSM mobile connection and it sees the operates there are a number of elements to the cell phone although two main elements are the hardware and the SIM the hardware itself contains the main elements of the mobile phone including the display, case, battery and the electronics parts used to generate the signals and every mobile having the IMA that is the International Mobile Equipment Identity and that is the SIM subscriber identity module it is a unique identity for the information that provides the user's information and it contains a variety of information including the number known as the international mobile subscriber identity that is IMS number and this is the main three that is the mobile station base station and network subsystem related to the GSM architecture this is also some functional architecture that is the OSS network subsystem then the RSS part that is the master station visitor location HLR that is the authentication center connected with BSC the BTS transfer session to master this is some cells as per the different areas it works and different some locations as per the HLR and VLR this is the given details some mobile station MS there are two blocks that is the mobile equipment and SIM subs subscriber added but what is the basic function of mobile station it is having personal mobility that is the IMEI number and IMSI identity that is the subscriber identity that is the main basic function do the, did under the mobile station after that uh, base station next part that is the BSF there are also two parts base transfer station BTS and base station controller BSC the every cell having the different main station and controlling it that will be controls by the BSC that is the base station controller it manages some radio resources that will be one or more base trans receiver station that is BTS it transmits some power control hand off control also that is the soft hand off hard hand off also that is the base trans receiver station that is the defines under the cells it handles the radio link protocol with the some mobile stations that is the BSC connected with MSC the network subsystem block will be given it is a mobile switching center it is the main part and some home location register already we see in digital location authentication center EIR it is the equipment identity register that will be give the details under the MSC and works under the MSC under the network subsystem that is the MSC works main MSC works that is the function under this MSC call setup supervision under these calls 
releasing call routing some billing information and collections mobility management paging alerting some eco cancellations connection to the bsc other msc and local exchange network access hlr home location and visitor location registers the hlr means the one hlr per gsm operator it is a necessity and it contains some permanent database for the subscribers that is the msrn mobile station routing number and it will be recorded as any every incoming calls visitor location register that is the vlr it is a temporary visitor database one vlr per msc authentication center that is the provide security stores the database and it uh, gives the authentications and air that is the contains some imei number service provided by the gsm that is the tele services calling voice communication voice mailboxes sms emergency calling voice messaging another service provided by gsm that is the bearer services transmission of data low speed of data transfer up to 9.6 kbps synchronous or synchronous data supplementary services that is the call offering call forwarding and call restrictions call waiting call hold all will be services comes under the gsm teleconferencing and any other special schemes that is the gmsc and over is uh, port type that is the intra bts intra bsc and intra bsm intra ms means handover already we seen the soft uh, hand hand of and hard hand of means one connection is in a release then we have to connect the other connections and that connections will be comes under the base station and, and network sub system and that uh, gms is connected with ms6 master station and every ms will be connected with uh, bss in different bss and every cell it having different uh, users as well as two users also but when you two users one connection will be released in another user cell that is the hand off process and that all with the hand over come process will be comes under this gsm european techniques this is the handover process from the master station and that is the trans receiver station that will be comes from the base station and base station will be comes up from the master station and this is the some handovers users 1 to 2 1 to 3 1 to 4 that is the intra bts that is the between 1 and 2 intra bts and intra bsc here is the intra bsc between 1 and 3 say intra bsc here sorry one and here intra msc between 1 and 4 inter msc will be connected here this is the some aspects gsm radio aspects for the uplink and downlink mobile to base that is the total 25 megahertz from 890 to 915 megahertz that is the 25 megahertz downlink also 25 from 935 to 960 total 45 megahertz spacing for duplex operation in gsm uses in tdm and fdm these are related to gsm architectures 
and functional architecture of JSON. Thank you.